right guys, I'm here at the dorm and before we start this video, I wanna give a quick update. We're gonna be at the paid swap meet at Texas Motor Speedway, April 26th and 27th. Uh, we'll be there with all your favorite YouTubers, Redbeard, Cars and Cameras, Ratherby Welding, all of them. So it should be a really fun time. And this year we'll be definitely just hanging out around the booth. We'll bring, we're probably gonna bring the race bike and the C10 mini bike. Um, and as far as the turbo and rotary stuff goes, we have three weeks here until finals, and then once we, we're done with finals and all that, we'll have a whole nother summer to work on a bunch of stuff. So just hang in tight, guys. We do have a couple of um, turbo kart videos, and we have some of the original videos from when we got the frame that we're gonna be putting the rotary on. So just stay tuned. Hope you like this video. Go Power Sports live axle here, just kind of right where this axle is right now. So. Joe, show us the parts that are going on this thing. So we got a 38 inch, I believe, live axle. Uh, we got the engine plate, uh, weld on bearings, sprocket, brake, and both hubs. A heavy duty clutch to stand up to all the power, hopefully gonna be getting out of this thing. Uh, hydraulic brakes so we can lock up the back brakes when we need to, help us drift a little bit. Two rims to replace the back ones we all got on there now to go with the live axle. 40 chain and then just all the hardware for that. So let's get started. So the body's off of the cart now and we're going to paint these gold to match the rest of the rims. Okay, so everything's unhooked. Now we're just going to chop all of this out. Basically we're just going to chop here and then all about here, cut this guy off and then just pull off both wheels and this whole solid rod. Of course, I decided to cut through right where they have a plug in it. So that took forever. Hey guys, so basically I just tacked up our live axle, it looks really cool. Um, basically what we did is we used this seat bar as a reference point because, I mean this frame was manufactured by a company so everything's like straight on this thing and even and we double check by measuring like diagonally and stuff like that. So basically we just butted these up to the, this bar at the same spots so we know it's straight. Now what we can do is just finish up welding all this. Okay guys, so we're done welding. Joe's just hitting it with some paint, just so it doesn't rust, but it's all looking good. So, we'll let this dry, and then we can start bolting up all the axle stuff. Now we can slide in that axle here. This looks so cool. Um, and the only thing that's gonna go on the inside here is the, um, is the brake hub and the brake. So that's really easy. So we're just gonna slide Go Power Sports locking collars on either side, as well as the brake. And we'll get this all in. Sprocket's gonna go on this side as well as both the wheel hubs. We're just doing that for packaging purposes because we like having the engine off to the side here. Um, and then like the body kind of gets in the way so the sprocket really has to go just right here. Um, and then that'll give us room for all the EFI stuff in the future. Got the Go Power Sports tires. And they're not beaded yet, but it's kind of late tonight and we don't want to like wake the neighbors with explosions. So <laughs> right now we're just gonna slide them on. Huh, but this thing looks really good. Yeah, perfect um, width. If you come around the back, we're gonna have plenty of clearance to run our sprocket just like we had it before. And then we're gonna have our really beefy disc brake right up here. So, be cool. So after this, we'll start making the disc brake mounts and get all this stuff tightened up. 
So to test our live axle, we have this, we have, we're putting the Tillotson on it from Go Power Sports. Check them out, Tillotsons are awesome. They're, uh, they're basically like factory style 212 engines, but they're beefed up, 10 horsepower, they're really cool. So we're running one of them on this, should be really fast. Okay, so the brake setup is completely done. We just got like a really small mount back there and then a um, big old disc back here. And since we have a push setup, we just have this lever pushing into the brakes right there. And that's super simple and probably the best brakes we have on like any of our projects. These are huge and they line up really well. And then Joe, what are you doing? I'm just tightening up all the locking collars and all the, making sure all the keyways are in on all these, uh, everything on the live axle, so we'll be ready to ride pretty soon. Yeah, just slap some tires on. Alright guys, here goes nothing. This thing's looking good. It's nice yeah. how we have the gold caliper to match everything. We got some nice sunset going down. Shit. Man. That shoots way more flames than a Predator, that's what I've noticed. Fire guys. <laughs> 